Hey YouTube, um, I just watched a video from Ballerina Boy 1, I believe it is. Um, I watch all of his videos, so I spent some time today watching all his new videos. And I watched this one about, um, wanting to connect with the gods this year as, like, a goal. Um, and he asked the question that if anyone knew, um, deities that were associated with homosexuality, um, or love between two males, or something like that. So, I did a little research, and, um, I found a couple, and I also had to ask him if he was okay with mixing pantheons, because I didn't want to give him suggestions that weren't from the Egyptian pantheon, because I know that he uses Isis as his goddess, um, but he said that was fine. But I do still have, um, Egyptian ones to talk about, too. Um, the first one I'm going to talk about is Greek. Sorry, I keep looking over there. I have, like, my notes over there. But anyway, um, the Greek pantheon, um, Dionysus is the main one. But a lot of people find it weird to work with Dionysus because he's also, like, the god of wine and partying and things like that. If you don't like those kind of things, that may not work. But also the son of Aphrodite, Eros, he's also associated with homosexuality. The do. Norse, well, I'm going to do Norse, the Norse deities, well, really deity, that I kind of changed, not really changed the mythology, but I interpreted it in a way that he could be used for homosexuality, is Loki, because Loki is the trickster god, and he is, he can transform into whatever he wants, and there are stories where he, though he is male, he transforms himself into a female and then sleeps with males, and things like that. So, he could be used as a god of homosexuality as well. Uh, okay, Egyptian. In Egyptian mythology, there really aren't, a, there really aren't, there really isn't a god of homosexuality or things like that, but they do have gods that exhibit homosexual characteristics. Um, in the myth of the revenge of Horus and Set, um, they both do some very homosexual things. So, both of them could be used as deities of homosexuality. Um, as an example, um, Horus puts his semen on salad and tries to give it to um, Seth because lettuce is Seth's favorite food. Um, then Seth, oh, oh, um, I think Seth is the better version for the homosexuality thing because Seth basically has butt sex with Horace. Um, in trying to show his superiority over him, he uses things like seduction and things like that, and he basically compliments him and tells him he has a really nice ass and continues to rape him. But... Uh, yeah, that's that's why I think that Horus and Seth both could be used if you wanted to stay within the Egyptian pantheon. But if you're okay with mixing pantheons, I think the best example of all of them is the Loki one for me. But it's whatever works best for you. I can't say to use one or to not use one. These are just ones that I found that could work or were actually used in the time period as gods of homosexuality. So, much love and bless me.